in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Good morning and how are you my dear students? I am teacher Allah and we will start a new science period on today, Wednesday, April 22, 2020. Bring out your books and your pencils and get ready to start this period with me. Our subject for today, why must we save electricity? Before we answer this question, we will learn together how to stay safe with electricity. Electricity is very important in our life. We need electricity in our daily life. Sometimes you need to use the electricity in every minute in your life. But as electricity is very important, it can also be danger and hurt us. So, we must learn how to stay safe with electricity. This why I am going to show you some tips about how to stay safe with electricity. Listen to each one carefully and try to apply it in your daily life. Number one, don't touch electrical appliances or wires with wet hands. Keep water away from electrical appliances and power cords. Don't plug much stuff into one outlet. Cables, wires, and damaged sockets do not repair but replace. Replace any damaged or old wires. Electric socket is not a toy, so never try to check it. In your textbook, page 118, you can find pictures that show to us how can life be without electricity. Let's see and discuss them together. If there is no electricity, then there will be no telephones, so we can't call each other. With no electricity, there will be no light at night, so we have to use fire to light up in the dark instead of electricity. There will be no fan or air conditioner. So if it's summertime or if the or if the weather is very hot, we will feel very hot without air conditioner and fan. Also, if you want to have shower, if there is no electricity, then no heater for your shower and no iron to iron your clothes after you clean them. Also, there will be no washing machine to wash your clothes and the list goes on. For all these reasons, we must learn to save electricity. But the question is, how can you save electricity? We can save electricity in so many ways. Inside your house, you can apply some of them. The first one and the easiest one is to switch off the lights when you leave the room. If you are not sitting in this room, no need to keep the light on. Switch off the light and go out of the room. Another thing you can do to save electricity is to turn off machines like TV, laptop, and all other machines. If you are not using these machines, then no need to keep them on. One more thing we can do to save electricity. As we learned before, we get electricity from power stations. Actually, in the power stations, they burn the fuels to make electricity, but the fuel might run out one day. This is why we need to save electricity and find other sources of energy. Sun and wind are examples on other sources of energy. We will watch together this short story about Lee and his sister. This is Lee. He likes to watch movies, play on the computer, and he hates the dark. Lee 
always forgets to turn off the TV and he likes to leave all the lights on at night so he is not scared. Turn off the lights, Lee, shouts his sister every night. But Lee doesn't listen. He needs the lights on to sleep. One day at school, Mr. Plug explains how too much electricity is bad for our Earth. Lee said, But I never use electricity, do I? The teacher answers, Well, Electricity is what powers the TV, the toaster, and anything else that is plugged in or switched on. That's why we need to make sure we turn off the lights when we don't need them. That night, Lee tells his mom he doesn't need the lights on to sleep anymore. He turns off all the lights in the house before bed. Lee is not scared of the dark anymore. He wants to keep planet Earth healthy and happy. In the middle of the night, Lee wakes up to a tap, 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 tap noise. It was his sister. Turn off your computer, sis, shouts Lee. That night, the stars were brighter, and the house is more peaceful than ever. Thank you for watching. What we learned from this story, that we have to try to save electricity as much as we can. Do you have more tips that help to save electricity? If you have any more tips, then record them with your sound and send them to me on the group. This is the end of our unit and the end of our science period for today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Your homework will be page 74 in the workbook. I am waiting for you to share your answers with me. I hope to see you soon. See you next time and goodbye.